Indonesia is an archipelagic state and has more than 17,000 islands and a coastline of about 90,000 kilometers. Indonesia is also a country blessed with abundance and enormous natural resources, one of which is utilized for aquaculture. The area that can potentially be used for aquaculture development is of 17.9 million hectares. The total value of Indonesian aquaculture has reached 63 to 80 billion US dollars per year and needs to be further accelerated in its utilization. Moreover, Indonesia's policy to become World Maritime Axis drives further development on aquaculture as one of national economic pillars. Indonesian aquaculture is encouraged to develop in harmony with the three pillars of national development, that is, sovereignty, sustainability, and prosperity. Indonesian aquaculture also plays an important role in reducing unemployment, contributes to national food security, income and employment generation, and also foreign exchange earnings. Recently, aquaculture development in Indonesia has accelerated and it is considered important in supporting rural economic development. Total Indonesian aquaculture production increased by about 24.7% per year in the last five years as a result of technological innovation, area expansion, species diversification and availability of superior broodstock and high quality of fish food. In order to improve product quality and improve food safety, the Indonesian government has launched some regulations. Those are KEP 02MEN 2007, Re Good Aquaculture Practices, and PER 39MEN 2015, Re-controlling drug residue, chemicals, contaminants in aquaculture. The Indonesian government is also implementing national standard on aquaculture production, fish feed, facilities and infrastructure, and all laboratory tests. The National Residue Monitoring Plan, or NRMP, for all aquaculture commodities has been recognized by the European Union countries and proving that the products of Aquaculture Indonesia has been free of residue. Indonesian aquaculture is the place to learn the latest technology in aquaculture, to attract investors to invest in the aquaculture sectors in Indonesia, and to make Indonesian aquaculture independent, competitive and sustainable, and also to boost the nation's economy and prosperity.